Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by the channel. This is a little uh, pre-log or pre-discussion uh, to the video. Um, start off, you can see a picture of my son Tim in the background there. Uh, and you can see his toys up uh, beyond. Uh, this was his room. Um, he, we lost him almost a year ago here at the end of the month. Tough times here at the household. Um, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm in his room and we're keeping a lot of his stuff here in his memory. But anyway, uh, just wanted to uh, address that because I bet you some people are wondering what's all the uh, sesame seed stuff up in the background on these first couple of openings. But hey, this is um, a video regarding 3D printing of Tom Lipton's chamfering block design. And... Uh, Tom, you know, had showed uh, building this unit and offered that he would supply the drawing to anybody that wanted it. And uh, he, he did supply it to me, and he was kind enough to actually give me a block of Delrin to build this unit. And I picked it up, and uh, I don't know if we had a video on it or not, where he had me on camera in front of his unit and called me a porch pirate and had me on Instagram. It was quite a hoot. Well, the I've had this for some time. I've had the Delrin for some time and uh, just uh, haven't been uh, in the mood to machine it. You know, it's on the list of things to do. And the 3D printer, which is uh, behind me on the other side here. Let's see if I go over this way. There it is. The 3D printer has really uh, got my uh, got my juices going on trying to understand and draw in fusion. Well, the other day I sat down and I've been downloading things off of Thingiverse and being able to manipulate them in Cura and print things that I wanted for myself. And um, I sat down and I looked at his drawing and I said, well, I have his drawing. All I got to do is somehow draw it in Fusion. And I am a total beginner at Fusion. And my license had actually expired I don't know how many days of that trying to find a little link that gets you back into your home hobbyist uh, use of the license. Finally did that and uh, started drawing this. And uh, it's been a great learning curve for me on use of fusion. When you, when you need to produce something, you work a little bit harder. You don't get frustrated when you're trying to push and pull apart and uh, and figure it out. And uh, I really have to thank Tom. Uh, uh, so the video is, uh, uh, it's not a how to build it. It uh, basically goes through some of the issues I had about printing and what I've learned about printing. Um, and, and then the actual use of uh, Tom's design, which uh, worked out really well. So enough of me babbling. I hope you enjoy the video. <clears throat> Again, thank you, Tom, for sharing and uh, teaching. Uh, you can't uh, can't help it. He's a great friend and uh, and a resource that uh, allows me to reach out to him when I need him. All right, here's the uh, video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, happy holidays uh, as we move on. Well, you can see there's my printed unit in the uh, surface grinder. That's the second unit I printed. This was my first one right here.
here. Both of them have the steel uh, slugs in the bottom for going down on the mag, but I've opted to block it in also. Um, I probably could have went bigger on the metal here, uh, but just in this first beta trials, uh, I'm not going to take a chance. Um, I have played with it a little bit. The first print, um, I'm going to show you, it didn't come out to a 90 degree corner. And that's because I printed it like this, in this fashion, and the printer went like that. So I ended up with a very nice surface, but it ended up that it didn't make it in a 90. So the second print, I did it this direction. And now it printed up this way, so I got a real good 90. But I ended up, this finish right here, which is very smooth on this one, ended up, because of the print powder, ended up with a little bit of a ripple effect. And I'll show you, I can pull this off, but I ended up, I put a strip of copper on here and that uh, makes it nice and smooth. So uh, let's, uh, let's give it a go. I did, I did do a couple already, but uh, here we go. Doing a light chamfer on it, and it works uh, real nice. You can probably see the reflection there. So, winner, winner. I think it's going to work out well. The uh, this, this surface is relatively slick, and as you can see in the, second, in the second print, as I was printing this, I went, oh man, I should have put the, the grooves in here. So I ended up, I put the grooves in this one. Let's uh, pull it off. So on this unit, they're printed with the grooves, and then you can see here's the copper piece that I uh, basically just used uh, contact cement to put it on there, and so it ends up giving me a nice, uh, nice surface to slide on. So all in all, I think it's a real good winner, and you can see here, and I think I showed in some photos. That's when it was printing like this, it was trying to cantilever, and uh, so you end up with a finish like that there. All right, I think it, uh, think it worked out well, and have to th thank uh, Tom over at Tool for the design.
guy is not going to fit to hit my uh, guard. So it's too tall that way to miss the guard, but I'm not going to do it right now. This is the uh, last of my fusion drawing, and uh, just to show you where it's at, still has the holes in the bottom. I added chamfers uh, to the uh, all the edges, and uh, I didn't put in the radiuses in the back here as Tom's drawing shows because I couldn't figure out how to do it. Someday maybe. But anyway, somebody asked if I would share uh, this uh, design with them, and I said, sure, if they, they would like it.